Hi. I got a new microphone, so hopefully my audio doesn't suck. Thank you so much for 300 plus subs, what the hell, and as always, a version of the speed paint without the voiceover is in the description, since I never really know if people actually like these voiceovers or not. Enjoy the speed paint. Hello everyone, and what a horrible time to finish this drawing late. It is I, Star. Yes, I know the whole, spoiler alert, Lamamberg blowing up a for real this time thing happened like a few days ago, but to be fair, I started this drawing back in early December? I have been working on this for a very long time. When I started this drawing, I was at first just supposed to be testing out Clip Studio Paint's new time-lapse feature, but it turned into something much, much bigger than that, to the point where I can't even really give a review of the feature because I don't know if problems I have with it are from the actual feature being bad or if they just happen because I've been intermittently opening and closing this files for hours at a time over the last month and a half. No joke, I spent like... I think 10 hours on this, if my assumption about CSP's time lapse are correct, in which each hour in real time is converted into a minute of time lapse time, which I'm pretty sure is right because I don't really know what other conversion rate it could be. Uh, so yeah, please, um, please give some attention to it. I'll cry. <laughs> Anyways, despite how it seems, uh, this drawing wasn't actually very painful. It was kind of relaxing to render things out, and it gave me some time to think about the characters I was drawing. And because of that, I came up with some headcanons and some, you know, uh, character analysis stuff, maybe, um, that I thought maybe I I'd mention in this video since I now have 10 minutes to fill up. Woo! PSA. There will be a lot of Technoblade in this. I am a techno and philosophical apologist. Whoops, not sorry. Also, just to be blatantly clear, I'm, I'm talking about their characters within the story. None of this is in reference to the actual people. Okay, so first I wanted to talk about a couple of design headcanons I have for the Anarchist. I'm more comfortable talking about design stuff uh, over story stuff since I'm an artist, I'm not a writer. Um, <laughs> a lot of these do have to do with story elements, though, so if you don't want spoilers, here's here's your warning. going to be talking about spoilers up to the day this has been recorded, which is Friday, so yeah. First up, one of the biggest headcanons I have for Technoblade has to do with Withers, and thus now also applies to Philza, I guess. Uh, his hands are stained from creating them. I actually did a drawing of this that I never ended up sharing, but the premise of it is that when Technoblade spawned in the Withers, his dark grey colouring from the Wither Skulls got on him in, like soot, and they stain whatever he touches. When he first summoned them, almost his whole hands were black, but since then it started to fade away so that it's really only on his palms. This is something that will probably never go away, that's why he always wears those fingerless gloves. I imagine Filza has these too now, so I'm probably also going to have to give him gloves. Another headcanon I have for Techno has to do with the pig element of his design. I very clearly draw him as anime Techno, I don't have a shapeshift tray or anything, but I do think he carries over some pig-like traits. The obvious things are that his skin is sort of pinkish, even though it's kind of hard to see, and his hair is also pink. But other than that, and the mask I gave him, which by the way in my design is made out of clay like Dream's mask and not actually from a pig head, uh, he also has literally tougher skin than others, along with pointed bottom teeth where you would expect tusks. Uh, they're small design choices, and I forget about them very often, but I still really like them, so here they are. This doesn't show up in the drawing, but I give scars to everyone for each canon life they've lost. Both of Tommy's aren't visible here. The scars are a blotch on his neck from the first Lemanberg explosion that Wilbur did, and one on his chest from the Lemanberg War for Independence where, where Dream killed him. But Techno's is. Now, you might be saying, but Techno didn't lose a life. And you'd be absolutely correct. However, he did almost lose one. One from the Butcher Army when they tried to anvil murder him. So... What I did, how I interpreted this, is I interpreted it as he got cleaved in half, but before he could like fully die, the totem revived him, so now he has a scar on his mask. So not actually on him, but because his mask tore in half and he had to repair it, there's now a little mark down the middle of it. So it's not really a scar, but it's like symbolic or something. Ooh. Wilbur has a scar on his stomach from Sosa killing him. The scar glows and has wispy white stuff coming out of it. Here's a drawing that I did. Uh, this is not his only glowing scar, his other scars glow too, but it's definitely his most prominent since that's the one that took his final life. This is the rule that applies to all ghosts, all ghosts have their scars glow, the one that took their final life is the one that glows most prominently. Filsa does not have literal wings here, uh, I'm going with the headcanon that he removed them in order to join the server, but sometimes people can still see or feel the ghost of them. You know, like sometimes they'll see a black figure sort of surrounding him and they'll think oh is that his wings but when they look back at him they realize that there's nothing there it's very spooky i like it a lot 
However, uh, since he used to have wings, all of his old clothing still has two holes in the back of them where you would expect wings to be. By old clothing, I mean anything that's derived from his original Minecraft skin design, not the one that he got when he was with Technoblade. So not the anarchist one, because he got new clothes, but his old clothes, still got him. Okay, so, um, editing star here. I was editing and I realized that 10 minutes is not nearly as long as I thought it was. Um, so I still have to record some more things in order to make the voiceover the time of the whole speed paint. So I am just gonna rapid fire, um, a couple of design things for other people other than the anarchists. Some ideas that I had. Okay, so with the designs of people who are part creature, here they are. Uh, you've probably already seen my Rambo design since that video I made blew up, but I assure you he's very Enderman-like in that he is extremely tall, just like real life. I have not figured out a design for Fundy, but he'd probably be more human than Fox if anything else, just that I don't know how to draw Fox notes. Puffy's design is almost entirely human, but she has curlier hair, sheep eyes, and wears the skull of one of Eric's sheep she killed when she first came onto the server. This is blatantly inspired by Wolfie's design of Technoblade, but unlike him, Puffy really only wears this fo fully over her face when she's going into battle, usually only half wearing it on the side of her face, like with Inga's design in a dream. Man, I'm just stealing from all my mutuals, huh? Anyway, I, uh, I think that's it for design and headcanon stuff, so let's get into the characters and relationship, I guess. I've always really liked Techno and Phil's relationship. They're clearly very close, and Phil is pretty much the only one who Technoblade fully trusts at this point in the story. He's always been there for Techno, he's never betrayed them, and... He's always been there for Techno, he's never betrayed them, and they each have a pretty good understanding of each other's goals. Phil's is also a person who is willing and actively participates in things that will lead to Technoblade scolds. I said that weird. Filsa is also a person who is willing and actively participates in things that will lead Technoblade to his goals. Even though Techno kind of murdered the family theory, so he isn't canonically Filsa's son, even though in my heart he will always be, they still have probably one of the strongest bonds on the server, I'd argue. Tommy and Technoblade's relationship was also very interesting, and I, I really like their dynamic a lot. It was always really fun seeing them on stream working together, Although we won't get to see that anymore. I think that the time they spent allied together really allowed Technoblade's character to shine. It let you see that he isn't actually very hostile. He's pretty agreeable and obviously cares for the people he's deemed as friends. Anyway, I think that's the end of the video. Thank you for sticking around this long. I know I ramble a lot and I know I speak fast. I tried not to for this video. I probably still did. Whoops. Uh, if you'd like to see more art, please follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, whatever. Uh, I also stream on Twitch. I have streamed on Twitch. That is, I, I don't like... Let me rephrase that. <laughs> I also have a Twitch, which I'd like to stream on. Uh, I streamed on it once, and then, like, one person showed up, referred to me as the wrong name, and then two of my IRLs showed up because I spammed the link in our Discord server, and they both made accounts specifically so that I wouldn't be streaming to zero people. So please follow me there. <laughs> if you'd um if you'd like if you have suggestions about what I should talk about next, if you'd like for me to talk about a specific thing or whatever, uh please leave a suggestion in the comments below. I'd really love to talk about your suggestions. I think it'd be neat. Um if you want to talk to me about things, message me just literally anywhere. Just anywhere that I have a social media, just message me there because like I I'm really, here's the thing, right, as I'm like, I'm, there's maybe two total people who I have able to talk about this with, and like, I don't want to bother them because they're like the only people that I have, but also at the same time I have all these thoughts in my head, and these thoughts need to be, be expressed somehow, and I thought that doing this video would do it, but actually 10 minutes isn't really as long as I thought, and I don't know, man, I just, I would do that thing where you go ahead and make online friends so you can talk about it, but like, I'm really bad at doing that, so, I, what I'm saying is, if you have a Discord server, <laughs> <laughs> where where you talk about lore stuff uh i i am i am on my knees i am begging please please if you're able send over an invite i'm begging i am begging please <laughs> anyways have a nice day there's more art coming soon um an animation meme is on its way uh i have a couple of animatic ideas some of them are shorter than other ones i have a lot of vocaloid animatic ideas i don't know if those are gonna get made or not i'm gonna be honest uh and then i also have like a variety of things coming out on my social medias that don't really have to do with youtube um so again i suggest you follow me there if you'd like to keep updated uh, yeah 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 
Have a nice day. I already said that. Have a nice day again. Please, follow me on Twitter. I'm very close to 666 followers. I just, I want, I want that by like, I, I don't know. I'd say my birthday in February, but like, am I gonna gain four followers by February? I really hope I am. <laughs> uh, do good, do good things. I believe in you. 